Well, hi Robert, I'm Meg. I'm Meg Thomas, one of the directors at Greenham Control Tower and um, we're very pleased to have um, Robert here, Robert Fitzmaurice, um, showing his uh, current exhibition which is called No Eden. I was just wondering Robert if you could tell me a little bit more about um, how the exhibition came about and also about some of the events that you're holding here in connection with it. Sure, the exhibition is uh came is a follow-on from the soldier exhibition that I had at uh, Sander Memorial Chapel last year. That's how we got to know each other. And we got into a discussion, didn't we, about yeah. um, maybe me responding to the themes of militarism and peace around Green and Control Tower. When I, when I started researching the show, um, I realised that I really wanted to say something that was centred on the actions taken by the peace camp um, protesters, the Green and women who were based here in the 80s, and try and say something about the topics of militarism, pacifism, feminism at the time, um, the challenges to patriarchy uh, that were led by the peace camp women. All these themes had been bubbling under in my work, sort of implicitly, and No Eden was an opportunity for me to kind of turn those into a new body of work that, that kind of took me outside my comfort zone, if you like. Mm. Yeah. So uh, to support this and to try and articulate some of the themes, I've invited Lucy Cox of Contemporary British Painting to come along. Uh, that's on the 21st of May. And we're going to be discussing how my work has evolved over the last few years, especially with regards to portraying the figure and what can be said using the figure as some kind of motif for concepts and themes that don't necessarily have figures in them. So we're talking about you know, nuclear weapons and we're talking about sort of gendered norms and conceptual ideas around the figure. So I've made in, in my work a link between puppet toys and dolls, the male child and the shape of the bomb. Um, these, are, these are, for me, levers for getting people to think about the, the broader topics that um, are pertinent to the history of the control tower. So that's 21st of May. Then on the closely followed on the 23rd of May by the panel discussion and <clears throat> I devised this, I, what I wanted to say was can painting, can painting be a form of protest in the way that more obvious forms of protest can be, banners, marches, you know, things that actually reach out to people in the street, can a painting in an art gallery still get into somebody's head and make them think about things? So, I can go on, is, is, is that sort of uh, enough uh, for, for, for the website? Just, yeah, but it just reminded me of the, my favourite in there is the painting called 96 Bad Boys, and mm -hmm. why don't you just mention what you told me earlier about how uh, somebody said it had changed their perception of what happened here yes. at the camp. Yeah, it's quite recent, uh, somebody came to visit and we were talking through the exhibition and when, when they read about the, the, what I was trying to say with 96 Bad Boys, 960 Hiroshima's, the penny had dropped for them. That painting changed mm. their view, not just of um, the peace women and why they were protesting, but also the more longer term history of what countries are trying to do by being nuclear, you know, you know loaded mm. up with nuclear weapons. Mm. And it, 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 they said it was a game changer. Well, thank you very much. And um, this recording has just really been to um, let people know about the events. Mm -hmm. And now we've given you a little bit of a taster. I hope maybe you can um, book in by the link on our website. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they can book in on the, on, on, on the Greenham Common Tower website and they can also search for the events on Eventbrite itself. Yeah, thank you very much, Robert. Thank you.